And good day with this breaking news. I'm Andrea Mitchell in Washington. Moments ago, a Russian woman with deep ties to key Republican players and the National Rifle Association during the 2016 campaign pleaded guilty in federal court to one count of failing to register as a foreign agent. 30-year-old Maria Budna, a former student at American University here in Washington, operated in top Republican circles while reporting back to key figures in the Kremlin, including Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. This case was prosecuted by the U.S. attorneys in D.C., not by Special Counsel Robert Mueller. Joining me now, NBC Justice reporter Julia Ainsley outside the courthouse, having just come out from that entire proceeding. NBC intelligence reporter Ken Delaney and MSNBC contributor Joyce Vance, a former U.S. attorney, and MSNBC national security Security analyst Frank Figlusi, a former assistant director for counterintelligence at the FBI. Welcome all, but first to you, Julia, you were in the court for this dramatic proceeding. Tell us what happened. Yeah, so we saw Maria Butina come out in her clothes from detention. These are, it's a green jumpsuit. She even had holes in her sleeves, her hair pulled back into a long braid. She was very stoic as she answered the questions and as they read the statement of offense about what she's committed here. Sometimes her answers were so short, yes, no, absolutely. The judge could barely finish her own words. One interesting thing aside from this, we were expecting a guilty plea, is that the judge took a moment to address the fact that the government has recordings of phone calls that Butina Tina had with a journalist while in detention, and that through those recordings, the government heard what could have been a reference to her lawyer, Robert Driscoll, that he had perhaps set up those conversations, which would put him in a conflict of interest and might put him in a position where he would influence her to make this plea. The judge was worried about that, and that is why she called in a public defender to counsel her. But Tina ultimately decided to keep Robert Driscoll and understood that, but I thought that was a, an unforeseen and kind of strange aside that we we heard today. Robert Driscoll is part of the Federal Association. He, it's a very conservative group of lawyers, um, and his his position here has been well noted. So aside from that, though, we did see Bettina plead guilty, and the prosecution is delaying her sentencing because of her cooperation, which of course is of interest to Robert Mueller. He's not the one bringing the charges here, but he could be asking her, he could be privy to some of this information from her cooperation, since her goals were ultimately the same as a lot of the people he's investigating to influence the Republican Party in the 2016 election. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.